In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I make budgeting not suck. Budgets don't work when people feel like it's a chore. As an adult, you don't have anyone forcing you to do chores anymore. So you can do whatever you want. <laughs> including making bad decisions with money. If you're new to my channel, I'm Craig. I'm a former financial coach in jack of all trades who wants to help people learn useful life skills that aren't being taught in most schools. Today, we're going to go through a topic that is so fundamental to having a healthy relationship with personal finance. Budgeting and saving money aren't really talked about in American culture. Posting pictures of maxing out a retirement account doesn't look nearly as sexy as showing off the new Tesla you just financed. Social media is full of people celebrating all the decisions that aren't necessarily the best financial choices. Being blasted with this kind of material all day can paint the wrong picture. You don't have to fake it till you make it or go broke trying to appear rich. To get the things that we want generally just takes some time. The key is being disciplined enough to pass up on impulse purchases today so that you can buy the things you really want down the road. When we set up a budget, there needs to be a goal in mind so that when we save money, we are making progress towards something. In my experience, saving money just for the sake of saving money doesn't work very well. But if there's a clear goal in mind, now we have some firepower. This small mentality shift of saving for a specific thing or a specific dollar amount can make all the difference in changing budgeting from a painful experience to a positive one. Think about it, if you don't really have a reason to save, there's nothing really stopping you from spending. Spending often gives us instant gratification of getting something that we want. And in today's society, we want things instantly. Patience is a tough skill to practice when so much of our culture is based on getting things immediately. It's a lot quicker and easier to spend than it is to save. If you don't believe me, try dating someone who likes to spend your money while you're trying to save it. Or better yet, find someone who doesn't do that. Been there, done that, got the t-shirt. Well, she kept the t-shirt, but I paid for it. Once you have a goal in mind, put it in a budgeting app where you can track your progress. I like using Mint. Mint allows me to see how much I've saved towards my goals, and it also links to all of my financial accounts, so I can get an update on my net worth and track my spending. When I save money, it now feels like I'm making progress towards something instead of that I'm missing out. Now when we budget to save money, we also want to make sure that we park that savings in an account that actually generates interest. Once your money is generating interest and making money for you, you're going to want to save even more so that that interest check gets bigger and bigger each month. This acts as positive reinforcement to help you continue saving. If you don't have an account that pays a good interest rate, check out my other video on how to find a good bank account. I'll link to that video in the description. I realize that these little tips seem so simple, but you'd be surprised how many people do not follow them. Implement these strategies and watch your money grow. And if you want to continue to grow your skills for the real world, go ahead and subscribe to this channel where we'll cover more topics just like this. In the next video, I'll talk you through my favorite exercise for helping to set good and attainable financial goals. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video.